As I stood in the Galleria dell'Accademia, on foreign soil for the first time in my life, I had just one thought running through my mind. Nothing else compares. Before me stood David. I gazed in awe at Michelangelo's handiwork, the way the young king shifted his weight, arm hanging by his side, a shadow of fury and determination passing over his face. No statue I'd ever seen before even came close to the pure beauty of the white marble towering before me. Every sculpture deemed important and beautiful and great enough to reside in the glorious halls of the Louvre or British Museum faded away. There was only David. Everything that came before was forgotten, and everything that came after didn't even compare. There are other statues of David, in paintings and literature, in movies and plays, in art and sport and life. Citizen Kane is the most influential movie to ever grace the silver screen. East of Eden is John Steinbeck's most beautiful book. The statue of David is Breaking Bad and Tom Brady and The Starry Night. Nothing else will ever compare. Nothing else is worth pursuing. But East of Eden isn't my favorite Steinbeck story. It's travels with Charlie or Cannery Row or even of Mice and Men. Citizen Kane is a great film, but it doesn't crack my top 10. I'd rather rewatch Shawshank any day of the week. The statue of David isn't even my favorite statue. Is it the most beautiful one I've ever seen? Yes, absolutely. But if I had to pick, it would not be Dave. A bronze star graces the pavilion outside of the Bob Bullock Museum in downtown Austin, where my granddad took me to see IMAX movies as a kid. I pass the statue of E. King Gill, the 12th man standing proudly on Texas A&M's campus every single day on my way to class. Both of these artworks, and so many more, hold much more value in my heart than David. Beauty alone does not create meaning. Everybody has a personal relationship with the various artworks that they encounter, no matter their popular or historical perception. You may hate David. I love him. But he doesn't even compare to Bob Bullock's Big Bronze Star.